Hey there, welcome to tutorial number 6 of the Easy jQuery series part of EasyProgramming.net. We learned a lot about event handling and event delegation in the last few tutorials. Let's put our knowledge to use and create something practical such as a shopping list that you can add to and remove from. We'll only be using what we learned in the past few tutorials as well as look at the submit event which is pretty much the same as every other event in jQuery. And we'll also briefly look at the prevent default method which you can apply to your event uh, to the submit event. It's going to be a short uh, and quick tutorial, so what we're going to do is I have a form set up here uh, with an ID of shopping form, an input ID text, input type text with an ID of add to list, and a submit button with type submit called add. Uh, what's going to happen is that we'll add to this shopping list, so I already have a shopping list called shopping list. It's an unordered list with an ID shopping list, and it has one item, the milk item. Uh, we don't need it there, but I kept it there just as a placeholder for because we need milk every time, I guess, right? So the idea is going to be that in this form, we're going to type in something like, you know, like eggs, we'll press enter or we'll press add, and it'll add to the shopping list. If I do it now, it'll say, you know, error, please uh, post the request or use post request. We didn't do anything uh, to the shopping form. That's where the prevent default will come from. So let's practice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say uh, we're going to target a submit event to the form. So let me just copy this and we'll do shopping form dot on just like every other uh, event method. Uh, remember, you can use double quotes or single quotes. I'm, I'm switching back and forth. Uh, I shouldn't. Uh, we'll do this. And now we have our on submit method. So when the submit is clicked, when an enter is pressed in the form, something will happen. And what we want to happen is that we want to take the value from this input and apply it into uh, into the shopping list as a new list item or append it. Um, so let's read the input element. So we'll just create a, a local variable. We'll call it text equals to uh, the ID of the input is called you know add to list so we'll do this dot val uh, we covered this a few tutorials ago uh, how to read and write two input elements um, and HTML so now we have that value uh, next thing we want to do is we want to append this to the list item here uh, we won't append it to the list item we'll append it to the actual shopping list so what we'll do is what that looks like is that we'll target the shopping list shopping list ID and then we'll do append and inside the append, you can it's, remember it works just like uh, inner HTML. So you can actually just type in the HTML here. So we'll do li, you know, uh, append the text value, which is the variable here. And let's close the li. And that's all it does. So let's update and run it and see what it looks like. So we have this. We'll do uh, let's let's do eggs. I don't know if you saw, but it actually added eggs, and then before it went to the uh, the error that says please, whoops, please post request. Uh, if you know why this is happening, uh, so it's because when you click on submit, the form does an automatic action. It's supposed to take you to someplace else, uh, but we're not specifying it. So what we want to do is we want to tell the form, we want to tell the web page to don't go anywhere. To do that, let's pass the event. I'll call it E. You can call it event. You can call it E N. You can call it E N V. Whatever you want. Uh, and we'll say after everything is published, don't do anything else. So we'll do e dot prevent default, and it's a method. Uh, the prevent default uh, is just a method that tells the user agent that if an event does not get explicitly handled, uh, the default action should not be taken, which is uh, in this in the case of the form to go to a new page or to try and process the form. So once prevent default is reached, it'll just stop and not do anything. So let's update and run it now. And if I do eggs, enter, there you go. Uh, it added eggs to the list. And if we do to chocolate, it's, it adds them to the list. Uh, let's see what else do we want. Um, rice, no, it's just, it's just something. It added it to the list. We want to revamp, we want to uh, uh, enhance this form a little bit more. As we've seen in other forms. So what happens in other forms is that once you type in something and you press enter, uh, the value seems to magically go from here to here, and you know disappears from this. So the way to do this is we're just going to copy this. So after this line is done, after this line is done, we're going to set the value of add to list to nothing. Let's update and run it. 
this. Eggs, see how it disappears? Chocolate, rice. There we go. It, it's, 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 it's much, uh, much more pleasant, if you will. And it allows you to keep adding stuff, you know, um, without having to backspace or clear out. So that's the submit method and a way to add to a list. Uh, I'm going to show you another quick way of adding to a list just by editing this is that you can actually turn the li into a jQuery object and add the text to it without doing this whole HTML thing. Uh, I'll go over this uh, in a future tutorial. If, you, if you're curious, feel free to uh, ask me. I'll try and clarify it. Uh, so what, what this does is we'll just put a dollar sign and put the li in parentheses. Uh, we'll get rid of this and we'll do append text and get rid of the rest of it. Uh, so what this does is when we do this in jQuery, it creates uh, an HTML element under li so that we don't have to uh, put the end tag, it does it automatically for us. Now if we run an update and run it, it'll do the exact same thing. You know, no difference, it just looks a little bit cleaner and you can keep adding stuff to it. Uh, you can create as, as many elements as you want uh, with this method. So we're going to add one more functionality to our shopping list, and that's to remove something. Uh, it's going to be a really quick event handler. So we want to target the listed items inside of this unordered list. In the last tutorial, we covered event to delegation, where you can delegate events to uh, HTML elements that, have, that exist now or will exist in the future. And the easiest way to do this is with event delegation. So let's actually, I'm just gonna copy this, right? Dot uh, on, and you can do any kind of event you want. You can do a click, you can do a uh, double click and add a button to it, you can add a delete button. Uh, I'm gonna do a double click just cause uh, I, I think it's simple and it will, uh, yeah, it make the point. Uh, before I do the event delegation, I'm just gonna, uh, read the function and end it. And we learned this, the remove method uh, in HTML elements a couple tutorials ago where we'll just do this dot remove. Now without event delegation, if I update and run it, if I do, you know, eggs and chocolate, uh, if I double click this, the, the entire list gets updated because what's being targeted is the shopping list. So this, in this case, is the shopping list. We want to delegate this double click event into a lower uh, into the list item. So we'll add another argument to this, and we'll do li. Uh, you don't need this, the uh, the the brackets here. Uh, we'll do update run. We'll do eggs, um, chocolate, cheese, rice, pudding, cheese. Doesn't make sense grocery list or shopping list. Uh, but anyway, we added this. Now if I double click on eggs, it's gone. Double click on chocolate, it's gone. Shoots is gone, rice is gone. And we delegated the double click event to the list items inside of the shopping list uh, on ordered list. Um, that's all there is to it. And I actually just noticed that I have an, uh, an unused line here. Uh, it's reading the value, but it's not doing anything. Uh, I think it was just a double copy and paste earlier. So if I didn't run it, it'll be the exact same thing. Chocolate, eggs, rice, pudding. Uh, double click, all gone. I can click on the milk, uh, even though it's, it's part of the original HTML, it'll, it'll get removed. Eggs, and I can add it back on later on. Uh, there it goes. It's, it's a fairly simple. Uh, if you look at this entire script, we created this shopping list that you can add to and remove from uh, in just 10 lines. Uh, when you minify it, it's, it's barely uh, anything. I hope you've learned something by implementing what we learned in the past few tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, we'll be covering more of this, more jQuery uh, in future tutorials. Come back for the seventh tutorial where I'll go over showing and hiding elements. So uh, when you double click on something, it'll get hidden, you'll hide everything, and then later on you'll click a button and everything will show back up magically. Uh, it'll also be a, a pretty quick and easy tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching this easy jQuery series uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below or on easyprogramming.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.